My friends are all together in one room. Is that all together one word or all together two words? Hmm. Hi everybody and welcome back. Now as you may have guessed, this video is for my MET students who are about to take the board exam for teachers. And today's topic is the difference between altogether one word and altogether two words. But before we get started, let me first show you my reference materials for this particular video. Well, number one is the book entitled Errors in English and Ways to Correct Them by Harry Shaw. And number two would have to be the ever-reliable The Grammar Book by Salsa Murcia. Now my friends, let's get started. Now maybe for most of you, this topic is a little bit too easy. But my friends, let me tell you this. In the exam, medyo nakaka-confuse siya. Kaya nga, I think, once and for all, we must settle this particular issue. Like, what is really the difference between altogether two words and altogether one word? Now, let's start with their definitions. Altogether, two words is actually a phrase, which means everyone, everybody in a group. On the other hand, altogether, one word is a single word adverb, which means all in all, on the whole, or all things considered. And my friends, based on their definitions, we can see clearly the difference between them, right? Now, if you are still confused, I suggest use the Tagalog terms for them. Like number one, altogether, two words in Tagalog means sama-sama or magkakasama. On the other hand, altogether, one word in Tagalog means sa kabuuan. And my friends, I think if you would just keep these things in mind, you will never ever be mistaken. For example, in this sentence, the family members are all together in just one room. Now, ano ba to? All together one word or all together two words? Well, obviously, my friends, it pertains to sama-sama at hindi sa kabuuan. So it means the answer is all together two words. Now, one more. We strongly believe that the result of the election is altogether fair. Now, altogether here, what do you think? Is it sama-sama or sa kabuuan? Clearly, sa kabuuan. Therefore, the answer is altogether one word. Easy, right? Now, my friends, try to answer the following questions. By the way, the key to correction is provided at the end of the video. That's it everybody, thank you for watching and see you again next time.